there are so many kinds of biryanis we've been doing but there are some special biryanis in the five star hotels we used to do for the special guest we can always make them little bit of effort you know again you know the government is also encouraging the small farmers who raise these quail birds these are like small chicken like things but very very tasty and usually they sell as a whole fried but today i'm going to make biryani with this quail they call kamsu pitta they call kadai you know various names but this quail is very tasty and delicate so i'm going to show you how to cook this namaste assalam alaikum sasriyakal welcome back to another session with your wash chef and today we're going to make the quail biryani look at these beautiful quails we're going to make biryani of first we're going to marinate the quail so we're going to take a little bit of ginger garlic paste for the quail the black pepper powder will give a very nice aroma add some turmeric add salt squeeze in some lime juice now we're going to apply this to the quail birds add some oil this is nice and perfect look at this beautiful kales one after another drop them in just make sure you marinate them well these quails after marinating we're going to take the egg in each quail we're going to stuff one egg sit in the assembly line in a non stick pan we're going to fry these quails so look at them so nice and perfect in the pan we're going to add oil and we're going to shallow fry these little quails take each bird with the egg inside and just fry on both the sides till it is slightly golden in color make sure you cook the eggs on both the sides once you fry them just take it on the side and we're going to put it on the top of the rice when we put the biryani in the same oil we're going to add ginger garlic paste mint leaf some chopped coriander when you add this it will give a nice aroma and we are also extracting the flavors of the quail add yogurt well bit of coriander powder some cumin powder well bit of garam masala powder chopped green chilies also this is going to be our nice biryani flavored gravy add little bit of red chili powder this is all perfect salt finally we going to add some brown onion which will give that nice hyderabadi flavored biryani taste for making a perfect rice for the biryani i'm going to have bay leaf clove cinnamon all of the garam masala little bit of shahi jeera add little bit of oil the soaked basmati rice we're going to add to this just transfer the rice we're going to cook this rice till it is almost 75 to 80 percent done salt is the most important thing in a biryani and it has to taste like sea salt water after adding the rice one time you need to mix and we're going to let it cook till the rice is 70 to 80 percent done the rice is almost uh, 70% done in the meanwhile i'm going to assemble and then put this rice on top here is the pan in what i'm going to make this just put the quail back inside try and take the oil from the gravy and then pour on top of the quails because we need the oil at bottom that should be good enough this is almost 80% done so take this rice assemble on top of this the hot rice will also help this quail cook more after you assemble we are going to put some more of that gravy if needed you can add some of the same hot water from the rice on top of this whatever the gravy that we made we are going to put it on the sides we are going to get different colored rice when this is done on top of this brown onion that will also give a very nice flavor mint chopped coriander some of the saffron water very little of ghee and always have a lid without any hole for the steam to escape on a slow flame we are going to cook it for 15 minutes and then switch it off and then we are going to do this ulta biryani act and we are going to serve this after cooking for like 15 minutes rice everything is cooked perfect you guys know many times i have told when the rice kind of curls up that means it is cooked and inside our little birds are also curled up so we are going to do this ulta kind of thing you can have a look at how beautiful the quails are done and the eggs and the rice also you should see how wonderful and perfect the rice is so when you make a biryani you make sure you make it good and you will thoroughly enjoy i am lucky that i choose a profession to be a cook this rice Mm, perfect basmati rice the meat is also nice and perfect 
you can take a bite of egg as well as the meat mm. and it is so nice juicy and tender again mm. and the egg mm. with this you can serve raita salam anything and you can thoroughly enjoy even the quail the legs ah, 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 are so nice and delicate so mm. literally this is melting away in the mouth mm, 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 mm. and along with this egg wow it is mm. small ones you can eat four five at a time and you will thoroughly enjoy it all i say is keep cooking and enjoy great food this quail biryani very special you can buy in many of the retail stores they are available and get them cook them make the excellent biryani and when you eat you got to say vare va because every bite is super heavenly mm wow